All right, y'all. So welcome back. Uh, today we're going to go over the BTF SP608E. Uh, this is an eight-channel uh, controller for your LEDs. Uh, this is my setup right here. I have it hooked up. Uh, you guys can watch my other videos. You see I changed up my my whole setup here a little bit. Uh, I added a 40 amp power supply running at 12.3 volts. Uh, I still have my SP901Es hooked up and I added the SP608E. Uh, so unlike the last time on these SP901Es, uh, I ran the power from the power supply. These have power now because the SP608E does not hook up the same way. So I have my 12 volt power supply down here running my SP608E and then just the data and ground run out of the SP608E. You can hook it up where you can get your power from here but uh, I decided to go this route and actually power the SP901Es instead of running it through like the last time. So I know that was a question for some people uh, the way my first setup looked and they were like, oh, you have to have power and ground. Well, I didn't because it looks exactly the same whether I run power from the power supply or my 12 volt power supply. It doesn't really matter. Um, but everything worked great. Now, going with the SP608E, I, somebody had mentioned, a, mentioned, somebody had posted a question not that long ago, and I had the red and blue lights on the house, right? And they were like, oh, what setting is that? Because it's only red and blue. There's no white, right? So I was like, you know what? I wonder. So I found this SP608E. And it actually has red, white, and blue. So I use that in my... Uh, go back and watch that video. I use that for my Veterans Day sub, uh, display. And uh, I, I enjoyed it, you know. I definitely think this thing is worth it. Purchase wise, I'm going to show you some of the settings right now. Obviously, it doesn't have the 200 settings that the other um, LED controller had, but this is definitely, definitely, I, I think it's great. Uh, I like the effects because it has totally different effects like fire and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to set it up and show you guys. Like I said, I'm going to go through. The only downfall I found with this controller is the um uh bluetooth right so it's bluetooth controlled it's not wi-fi controlled it's bluetooth controlled right and you got to use the app it has a remote um i'm not using a remote that's, that's it. i mean that's all to it it's just basic functions and you can do like the, the nine preset settings which really aren't that great but i was actually looking into it on the app i think you could program your own settings so I'm gonna do that later on uh, now the main reason you like so I only have two channels running off of this right and as we get further into the season you're gonna understand why I went with the eight channel controller uh, I'm not gonna need the signal amplifier for what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run a, another project we'll get to that in like the next three weeks so I'm actually going to run straight off of the SP608 to run the other parts of this, but I can actually run everything at the same time instead of using multiple controllers and going out there every night and, you know, making sure everything's good and turning on the different controllers and stuff like that. So with this, I can just go in the app and I'm going to show you guys the app here. Give me one second. Okay. So once you get connected, this is the SP608E. Uh, this is inside the app. So you have your eight channels. You can have them all on or all turned off. I'm running on channel seven, which I'm on number one rainbow, and channel eight, which is rainbow. So those are the ones that are on the house right now. I'll go out there in a minute and you'll see, but you can do scenes. So it has nine different pre-built scenes, which like I said, they're really not that good triggers now you can use this for automotive uh, it's recommending uh, you know like if you use your right left turn signal or your you know your brake lights the backup lights it'll trigger your LEDs on the car uh, will I ever use that no I'm not gonna use that 
groups you can create your own groups so you can create your own scenes and uh, kind of put a display together so that's pretty cool uh, the only thing I don't like about this is I want to control channel 7 and 8 at the same time and you cannot do that it's not I, I believe in the instruction that says that you can but I haven't figured it out yet so I'm hoping that I can so I could just press the button once and be done you know me uh, I tell you guys all the time my battery's dying on my phone well look battery's dying on the phone just like every other time so uh, oh that's what I was saying the Bluetooth right so I literally got to be like right here to use this thing or to connect to it right but I've been pretty lucky so we're gonna go outside we're gonna check out some of the scenes so give me a minute and we'll be out there all right guys so basically this would be uh, setting one this is a rainbow and you guys are gonna see like so I have most of my lights on channel 7 and then I only have that one strip at the top on channel 8 so as I go through these I'm not gonna change both channels we're only gonna do one at a time here tonight so 2 is a full color twinkle star and that'll just light up each one's it's kind of cool effect uh, that's um, that's not the most impressive one to be honest with you then you got twinkle stars again that's just gonna do that and it's gonna do different colors now this is my favorite this is the fire uh, I really really like this one guys it definitely looks pretty cool and it's it's something different so I definitely like the fire and I'm gonna use that then you got the stacking which uh, most of the other LED controllers that BTF uses uh, does the stacking so we'll just get past that now you got the Comet it's just gonna keep shooting straight across looks pretty good as you guys can see I got nice bright whites uh, definitely definitely doing the job that it's supposed to do so this is a wave this is chasing so it's just gonna chase around the house right this is the red white and blue this is the one I really like guys I really really like this one definitely looks good green yellow white so red, red green white red and yellow uh, red and white green and white this is just gradient wiping so it's just erasing the colors and then it starts a new one breathing so you know it just starts out dull and then gets bright full color comet comet wiping pixel dot wiping full color media rain this one's kind of cool guys you see the trail that is leaving behind that's a pretty cool effect media rain so it's just like light goes it's pretty cool color dots color blocks uh, full color rhythm spectrum so this one's kind of cool right it's actually going to my voice right now so you're using the app and I'm just like hello hello so that's kind of cool right and these are the music settings right so it's going off it's doing its job they, they got some really cool settings on this I, I like it uh, full color rhythm And that's just going off. Actually, my TV's going in the garage, and that's what it's going off of. I thought it was going off my voice for a second, but it's not. Uh, rhythm of the Stars, so it's like a beat dance. Actually, hold up. Let me go turn on the music, and we'll go through these music scenes. All right, y'all. So, actually, I went in, I turned the music on. So, this is actually going to music. And you can see it, it almost adds every single color into this first one, right? And this one was a uh, full color rhythm spectrum. So you're getting every single color that this thing creates uh, in a musical show, right? So this is the rhythm spectrum. So it's just going to beat off all types of different colors. It's pretty cool. Full color. So that's just like different lights all over the house. Pretty cool. Uh, rhythm of the stars. 
So it's like different ones beating all over the place. Full color beat. It's like Pac-Man chasing everybody, right? It's pretty cool. Beat ejection. So it's just super fast. Gradient energy. So that one's just gonna go to different colors and just beat to the music, right? Energy. Uh, gradient pulse. This is the one I like. I think this one's pretty cool. It's just, you know, going to the different colors and flashing away. You got the pulse. Full color ri uh, ripple. So it's just kind of different colors and spitting all over the place. That one's pretty exciting, you know, depending on what you're looking to do. And then we have the ripple, regular ripple. Love and peace. That one's like lightning bolts shooting all over the sky, right? That one's pretty sick. Christmas. So it just bounces around. Gives you Christmas colors. That one's pretty cool. It's wild, right? Uh, heartbeat. And this is party. And I think it ha I think it only has the 40. Yeah, so it only has the 40 uh, different programs. But like I said, I'm going to look into it. I'm pretty sure you could program your own, uh, which would be kind of cool. But uh, that's it, guys. That's my uh, test and review on this BTF controller. I, I Honestly, I personally recommend it, depending on what you're looking to do. Um, I found two settings that I'm going to use all the time on this one. So I'm pretty happy with it. The price is really not that bad. I think it was like 46 bucks. I'll leave the link down at the, uh, you know, in the description, and you guys could check it out for yourself. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, thanks for stopping by. As always, I hope everybody's staying safe. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.